Okay, so here I'm going to prove the sum rule for derivatives and also the difference rule for derivatives, which is very similar to the sum rule, which is a different uh, couple minus signs switched around. And so the sum rule says that the derivative of a sum of two functions, right, just like this, is equal to the sum of their individual derivatives. And so we can actually prove this using the limit definition for derivatives. And the way I'm going to do it is first off, I'm going to say let k of x, a new function, be the sum, just to kind of make things a little simpler. So when I take the derivative of k of x, I'm taking the derivative of the sum of two functions, and we're going to indeed see this, this derivative is equal to the sum of the individual derivatives. Okay, so let's do it. So this is for the sum rule, right? The sum of two functions. Take the derivative of k of x, that using the limit definition, it's the limit as h approaches 0 of k of x plus h minus k of x, all divided by h. And so what is k of x plus h? Well, it's you plug in x plus h in for x in the function. So wherever you see x, replace it with x plus h. And so it's going to be f of x plus h plus g of x plus h. And k of x over here, by its definition, is f of x plus g of x. And don't forget this minus sign, right? We're subtracting in k of x, so we're subtracting this entire thing. And so if we apply this negative sign to both terms, we're going to get negative f of x minus g of x. And so you can see we're already kind of forming the derivative of f and g, right? We have f of x plus h minus f of x plus g of x plus h minus g of x. This is kind of looks like we're in the right track here. And it, we can actually split this up into the sum of two fractions, right? Because divided by h, we can say this is f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h plus g of x plus h minus g of x divided by h. And you can see each of these fractions you can recognize as the derivative of g, f and derivative of g, just missing the limit sign. But we know that the sum or the limit of a sum of two things is the sum of the limits, right? We're, here we're proving, we're proving the sum of derivatives. But we already know as a given that the limit of a sum is the sum of the limits. And so we can split this up into two limits, both as h approaches 0. And lo and behold, the limit on the left is the derivative of f. The limit on the right is the derivative of g by the limit definition of derivative. And so the derivative of k of x is derivative of f of x plus g of x. In other words, and remember, k k prime of x is the sum of the derivatives, and so the sum of derivatives, no, sorry, the derivative of a sum of two functions is the sum of the derivatives. Okay, and we can use the similar proof for the difference rule. All I did was change around some of the minus signs, and you can see the logic will follow in a similar fashion. So, right, the difference rule says that the derivative of a difference of two functions is the difference of their individual derivatives, and so I'm going to let k of x be the difference of f and g, so the derivative is the derivative of the difference. Use the limit definition, same thing happens, except now k of x plus h, right? We're plugging in for x, we're gonna have a minus sign in here, right? Not instead of a plus sign. You still have this minus, and then k of x by definition is f of x minus g of x. So again, we have a bunch of minus signs, but we can figure it out, right? We still have, so we're gonna have negative f of x, and then the negative negatives will cancel, so we're gonna have positive g of x. And so we're still going to have f of x plus h minus f of x, but now we have negative g of x plus h plus g of x. So it's kind of like a negative sign has been applied to both of them, right? It's kind of the opposite order or opposite sign that we want. So we can still split them up like normal, except now what if I factor out a negative here from the numerator? That's how I'm going to form my derivative, right? I want, I want to end up with g of x plus h minus g of x. So by factoring out a negative, I'm going to pull that out, out front here. And so now, again, on the left, we have the derivative of f. On the right, we have the derivative of g. And so the derivative of k of x is the difference of the derivative of f and g. And so the derivative of a difference is the difference of the derivatives.